we have been building out this Hugo theme. It's called Big Spring. And I have this over here in my terminal here. So I'm going to actually open this project up in Codium, which is my text editor. And once that's open, I can come here. I can close out of my terminal. I don't need that anymore. And if I were to come down here and inside my terminal, inside my text editor, and I can close out of this version update notice, I can just run a plenty serve command. And you'll notice if I run this, we're going to see some errors here. So let me just expand this so we can see. So we're getting some errors there. So we can't stat layouts and there's some other things that are going on. So let me just show what's happening. I'm going to get out of this and let me show over here. I'm just going to compress my folder so we can see what's going on. So since the last time we made this video, we've released a new version of Plenty. So we've released the 0.4 version. So if I come over here to the GitHub repository, you see the latest release here is 042. And if you were to go to the issues and up here pinned at the top, it says attention breaking changes proposed for 04. So we had started our development on the 03 release branch and now we're on the 04. So the change that we've done previously need to be updated for this new API. If you come through this issue, you can see all the different things that are being changed and you can actually go and all the documentation should be changed as well. So you can go and see the, the changes there. And if you make those changes, your site, even if it was started in the 0 0.3 version, should be able to work with 04. So let's just go and do those changes now for this site. So the first change off the bat is this folder layout is now named layouts. So we're just going to come in, we're going to rename that folder from layout to layouts. And now that that's renamed, another thing that we're going to change here is in our site-wide configuration file, this plenty.json file, this route override is no longer started with the types keyword. It started with the routes keyword. So I'm going to change that, name this routes. Another thing is if you're using the field replacement pattern, it would be now fields. We don't have any here, so we're okay in that regard. Another thing we have to change is inside our layouts in our global, starting in the HTML that's Svelte file, we pull our main route and we use that as the dynamic Svelte component here. So this main route actually has to become layout. We've renamed that because it's actually a layout It's that's being used here. So we're going to use this route here as a layout. Another thing we're going to do is all components no longer exist. It's actually called all layouts now. So we have layout, content, all content, all layouts. We come down here, we'll just change where we're calling that down here as well. So this becomes all layouts where we're passing it to that dynamic component. We can save that. Now, anywhere we're using that, so let me just come down here and do a grep. So if we're using all components anywhere in our code base, we wanna know where we're using it. And it looks like, okay, so we have our public folder. We don't need to include our public folder and we don't need to look into any of our ejected folders. So we have layouts, our index has it and the ejected stuff can be ignored. We're going to actually get rid of that. So let's come here to our index template inside our content folder. And let's just change this from all components to all layouts. All layouts. And we'll do the same thing down here where it's called. Okay, save that. Now, another thing here, you'll notice in our folder, all right, we have this ejected folder and it has some different information like the build JS, main JS, and router. Now, we didn't purposely eject anything in this project. What actually happened is we had broken builds early on and that actually wrote the ejected files to our file system. Now, that no longer happens. So if your build breaks, you should no longer get miscellaneous ejected files written to the file system. It actually is stored in memory during the build. So we can get rid of this folder completely. We don't actually need that information. So I'm just going to remove our ejected. If you have an ejected folder in your project as well, and you never purposefully ejected something, so you could override how something like the router or the build process or the entry point for the project, then you can probably remove this as well. So I'm just going to remove ejected. So now let's run plenty, serve one more time. And if you expand that, it looks like that finished okay. Let's just copy this link here. And let's go over to our browser and just paste this in. Okay, so our homepage, we're not getting any site information here. So let's take a look at what's going on there. I'm going to come back in and I see where I'm calling the all layouts here, we're passing a configuration where we're looking for a layout component. So the component signatures now use the keyword layouts. So you have to update that as well. 
I come back here, let me reload this. Okay, now we're pulling in our components dynamically and we have our front end site being built here like this. So that's looking okay. And then if I go through here, we have our blog page, that looks okay. That's working. Is our pagination working? Pagination seems to be okay. So we're in pretty good shape. Now, if I look back over here, I wanna use the theme here over on Hugo as a template here. So I'm going to open up the demo page again. And one thing you're gonna notice, at least I am on my system, when I'm going through here, is I click through these pages. This is now being resolved as a single page application. So you see this does not do a hard refresh on the browser anymore. So if I click, it just resolves single page app wise, kind of like we're doing with plenty, but it's very slow. So when I click it, it takes a long time to actually go and update. So I've already clicked it, now it's updated. Now if I click back, now it's actually kind of frozen completely. I can't actually go and click anything right now. So I'm trying to, yeah, my, my browser is completely frozen. If I click blog like I just did, it takes a little while. So something's happening here. I'm not sure how this site was turned into a single page application, but it looks like that's happening. So there might be some JavaScript being added here. So in order to make this usable for me in the short term, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just open up my developer tools here. I'm going to expect the element. And it's taking a second to open up because the site is being really bogged down. I'll speed this up a little bit because it seems to be hanging. Okay, so we have that going. And if we just come over here to our settings in Firefox, let's just close out of this. We can come down here and we can actually disable JavaScript. If we do that, then we should be able to navigate this site like normal again. So it's doing hard refreshes, but it's actually working at a reasonable speed. So this is a little bit better for our purposes, just so we can get through this and we can see the different things because we have to build out some pages like this pricing page and the contact page and the FAQ page. I think this little language switcher here is new as well. We won't worry about that for now, but let's come back over here and let's look at pricing.